Upstairs, Delen, the girl who was trampled at school, has recovered quickly. Hello. Hi. How are you? Fine. Good. Did you enjoy your helicopter ride? I don't remember. I can't believe you don't remember, you don't remember anything at all. No. Do you remember us coming to you at school? Mm -hmm. Yeah. For Pete, it's a relief to know that apart from some bruising, Delen is fine and her parents will be able to take her home this evening. Yeah. How's your neck? It was really sore, wasn't it, before? Yeah? Okay, well, next time we'll get you awake and you fly around when you're awake, you're okay? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A week after her brain surgery, Kate Close, the woman who was thrown from her horse, is still unconscious and seriously ill in intensive care. At her side are her daughter, Belinda, and her husband, Jim. We're now, what, six days in. She's still heavily sedated to relieve pressure on the brain. They, they, they took the clot off very successfully. And um, we're talking about recovery periods, you know, to get out of that. Um, as of yesterday, uh, they were telling me that her, her expectation is that she will live, but they won't know what the damage is, although they expect there to be problems, until she is actually conscious again. Have you um, thought about what the future may hold for her? Oh yes. Every day, every minute I think about it. But in a sense there's not a lot of point. I mean you put things in little boxes. I just wanted to get, get her back alive and then whatever the issues are, between us and all the excellent services that are around, we'll, we'll handle it. Meanwhile, up on the helipad, Steve's last day is drawing to an end. His six months with the helicopter service are over, and tomorrow he'll be back in his usual job at the Royal London, working as an anaesthetist. There you go. Well, not a successful operation for him. Ta da! How are you feeling today? Oh, fine. Doesn't bother me at all. I mean, look, would you want to go out on that every day? Nah, not me. Sarah Hems up, good night. Well, we're also waving goodbye to the big red helicopter for the moment because next Tuesday at 8.30, the house doctor is back. Amazingly, after a total of eight weeks in hospital, Kate, the woman who was thrown from her horse, was able to go home. Although she still has a few gaps in her memory, it's improving every day, and overall, Kate has made an excellent recovery. I didn't realise that I had, had really serious, serious injuries, and um, I had been that near to not being here anymore. But it's great, great being home, it's great being alive, unbelievable. There's a free fact sheet to go with this program, written with the help of the emergency doctors. For a copy, please write to Condition Critical, PO Box 55, London W12 8UE, or call the Channel 5 order line on 0990 555 055.